Okay, welcome back to the show. Many thanks for staying with us. Now, police in the Bonohafu region have received some backlash from residents for their seemed inaction, seeming inaction in the face of increased armed robbery in Yeji. In particular, more cases are being reported in recent times, a trend which is troubling many residents amidst growing fear. They are accusing the police of doing very little to protect them. As Joy News' is Mahmoud Mohamed Nuruddin reports, however, uh, poli police, the state security organization, has its own challenges. I took a drive with some friends along the Egyptian road. With darkness setting in midway through our journey, the thought of crime on the road dawned on us. At the police checkpoint on the outskirts of Yeji, armed police personnel usher visitors and other travelers in darkness into the community. In an off-the-record interaction on how they manage without lighting system, all I gathered was lamentation over the danger they are exposed to by the situation stretch and you can see behind me the place is very very dark and when i interacted with the police officers their main problem is the lighting system here in the last few months reported cases of robbery and other crimes are said to have increased yeji in particular has seen the worst of it all so residents fear to use the road at night taxi driver siba habib is a victim of robbery on two occasions. They always come with sophisticated weapons. Our case, for instance, they came with one and shot at the back of one man who was with me. He was admitted at the hospital for about a month. In fact, I was compelled to stop for them to rob us. Moses Ankuma may have been spared robbery attack yet, but he knows at least four people who have fallen victim. On the way, we have put up uh, structures for the police. So what they do is that, uh, is that when the police uh, leave the police, the robbers also take over. So if you are a driver and you are not sharp enough to descend, they act as police and... Uh, they stop you and do whatever they want to do. Mm. All right. Have they robbed you before? No. Do you know anybody who was robbed? I've seen about four or three people, including a, a driver. Drug abuse is blamed for the situation. <laughs> The young boys here are now into drugs and this is getting them into criminal activities. When the robbers come and you don't have money, they can kill you or even hurt you with a knife. Yesterday, for instance, some thieves broke into my room and stole everything. Hawa Haruna is a trader at the Yeji market. She tells me about the frequency of armed robbery and theft in the area. Police say they are doing their best within the constraint of limited resources to provide security. For instance, my checks reveal all major roads where personnel are stationed on monitoring duties are in darkness. For now, Residents are unsure when they would have their freedom to move about unrestrained, especially in the night. Mahmoud Mohamed Nuruddin reporting.